Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC, and it is time to check out the second round of the Gunslinger Jack from Jack Wolf Knives. Now, as you know, the Gunslinger was the first non-slip joint or locking version. So, very cool. We have the Gunslinger, the Fat Carbon Nebula. Okay, very good. Oh, get off there. Thought I, no, not gonna happen. Need an assist to get the box open. There we go. All right, now we got the box open. Oh, dude. Gunslinger Jack, right there. There's Jack. Very, very cool. Look, I am digging the artwork. Of course, we got the old western kind of wanted poster sort of font going on there. Very good. Like I said, the Gunslinger was the first uh, locking model from Jack Wolf Knives. There you go. There is your pog. We always get the pog. Very cool. Oh, goodness. We've got a dark blue cloth this time. And, oh, there's the sticker. Come on. Oh, there it is. Jeez. No, that's the piece. We'll talk about that. I cannot get these stickers out of there. Well, I'd like to show you the stickers. Well, they're just going to be bent up, I guess. There we go. There's your sticker. Little wrinkled and all. There are two of them in there, but I guess I could only get one of them out at a time. But very cool. Gunslinger Jack. Nice. Of course, this is going to be a gunstock pattern. We are going to talk about this little piece, just in case you haven't seen the Gunslinger before. If you didn't see it first time around. But we have... Oh, ho, 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 ho. We have the Nebula. We're leave Jack up there. Oh, dude. That Nebula is pretty cool. I like the red, white, and blue. Very cool. Nice. Look at that. Now, actually, you know this... And I can't think back to the other Gunslinger. But, <laughs> obviously, this is not a slip joint, so... But you can actually see a separation between the liners and the back, the back spacer. Wow, we've never, I don't think we've ever seen that on a Jack Wolf knife before. Now, I'm not saying there's gapping or anything. You can see that it is very, very uniform. It is made like that. But that little piece we were talking about, of course, as you can see, you do have a pocket clip on this one. The Gunslinger does have a pocket clip. Now, if you wanted to take that pocket clip off, you could definitely do that. Put this little piece in there and slip carry it. And this one did not come with a slip. So there you go. But that is an option that you can do. You can definitely put that piece in there and then carry it, you know, in your, trust me, every other one comes with a Jack Wolf slip. I'm pretty sure you have one laying around. Oh, come on now. It's a front. There we go. Front flipper. <sighs> Locking knife. Oh, very smooth. There we go. Just got to get it. Drop. Oh, yeah. Drop's pretty darn good. Oh, what about... Oh, come on now. Of course, off camera. Do it the first time behind camera. Let's see. Two. Yeah, there we go. Second try, and we reverse flick it. It's got that long pull. You can reverse flick it on the long pull, as you just saw. S90V Steel. Right there. Almost looks like Z90V, doesn't it? S90V steel. Very cool gun stock pattern. Now, like I said, we have seen the gunslinger before. This is just the second round. We'll pull up the laptop here and we'll take a look at all the versions coming out this time. But we'll do a quick spec check as a reminder. So you're looking, I'm getting right about seven, seven and three eighths ish on the overall length. Handle length, I mean, you're just shy of four and a quarter. I'm talking of four and an eighth. That should give you right about a three and a quarter inch blade, which it does. Cutting edge is going to come under three inches, two and seven eighths ish. You do have the a little bit larger choil on it, which I do like. Dude, this thing is super, super comfortable in hand. Very comfortable. My index and middle finger fall right in the crook of the gun stock. The other two, yeah. 
That feels real good. Let's see how, they, how much this thing weighs. Let's see it. What does it weigh? There we go. And coming in at right about three ounces. So not bad. Not bad at all. Now we're going to take a look at our pocket because it does have a pocket clip. Now, that's the one thing I found about the other pocket clip is it's fairly tight going in there. As you can see, um, it does stick out of the pocket and it's not, I mean, it's not fully, I can force it down there, but we're going to pull it back out. Um, it's fairly shallow underneath that clip. So if it was me, I would more than likely take the pocket clip off, put the little piece on and grab one of my slips and slip carry it. Because, I mean, yes, it's a modern traditional, it's a locking knife, and I keep screwing up the darn front flipper, but that's me. It's definitely me. But I would probably take the clip off and just slip carry it. Yeah. Why not? I mean, it, it looks like the traditional. It's got the feel of a traditional. Obviously, like I said, you do have the locking aspect of it, but nah. It's a, it's a, yeah. It's a gun stock to me, so it would get slip carried for sure. The clip would come off. And I'm sure it will, not too long after this. But very, very cool. Like I said, second time around for these guys, let's pull out the computer and see just what Ben's given us this time. All right, so here we are. We're going to have five new versions. Now, you will see when I scroll on this, that there's actually six versions for sale. All of them run 349. Uh, they must still have some of the micarta left over from the first run. So there you go. If you want the micarta, they still have some available. But first off, you're going to start with the dark matter gold with the hand satin. Very nice looking knife. Very cool. That looks good. That looks really good. I like it. I like it. Then, of course, we have the Nebula. You just saw it. Oh, this Ironwood, though. Oh, look at the Ironwood. Oh, let's blow that up. Oh, man, look at the grain on that. Oh, my goodness. That is a good-looking knife. Grain on that. Oh. Looks like it has a satin blade as well. Golly, that looks good. Yep, satin blade. Oh, and here you go. This is, I don't know though. <clears throat> what do you think? Do you think the Kiranite or the Ironwood's going to sell out first? I was originally thinking the Cosmic Purple Kiranite, but I don't know. Dude, that iron one looks really, really nice. Let me know down in the comments which one you think we play that game. It's a fun game to play. At least I think it is. But the Kiranite, oh, that's got the, well, what would you call that? Depending on what uh, angle you're holding the knife, it's either vertical or horizontal. I would call that, if it was laying like this, I would call that vertical stripes. Because it's not horizontal with the knife. So we're going to call that vertical. God, that looks good, though. The purple, the purple accents. Black DLC blade. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Kiernight or Ironwood. But check this guy out. The titanium. The checkered titanium as well. Golly. I don't know. Because this one looks really cool as well. Does it blow? Whoa, it does blow up. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Satin blade again. I don't know, man. There, I, there, there could be three of them in this batch that go really, really quick. Because this checkered titanium looks pretty cool as well. Let's get a close-up of that. Golly. That is really, really cool looking. I don't know. Jig titanium or checkered titanium? What do you guys think? What, what do you think looks better? That checkered looks pretty cool, though. I'm a, I am a big fan of the jigged titanium if you will but so there you go guys five new versions of the gunslinger ready to go these drop on friday guys the 15th 2 p.m eastern 11 p.m pacific 
Check out your favorite retailers. Of course, you know, some of us have affiliate links with places like Traditional Pocket Knives, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, so on and so forth. Hey, if you want to help the channel out, use one of my affiliate links. I greatly appreciate it. I wish I could offer you a coupon code, but as you know, you can't use coupon codes on Jack Wolf Knives. Some brands just do that. So, but there you go, guys. Those are the five. Let me know down in the comments if you're going to pick one up, which one are you going for first? I say that because, I don't know, if you're not on the ball, it might be sold out. Who knows? But let me know, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so very much for stopping by and checking out the second round of the Gunslinger Jack with me. Have a great and wonderful day, guys. As always, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.